I'm an American, which means generally I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. Now, this one is not that difficult, except for, of course, the word unless. Unless, chote unless, unless. I ignore football unless, 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 chorom hesacho. Unless, unless, unless. Now, actually, the more common pronunciation would be unless, unless. But he does say unless in Jonghamira. Once again, the word is unless. Shwa baram temone. Pali marate iruke deo. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. Guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size. I ignore football unless it involves guys my size or Bruno's size running into each other at extremely high speed. That said, it's been really hard to ignore football for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I go onto Twitter, there are all these strange words that I've never heard before, FIFA, Vuvuzela, weird jokes about octopi, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that has really been sort of stressing me out. Chom orep chom. But the one that has really been sort of stressing me out. Now, we got a lot of pronunciation points here. But the one, but the one, but to the one, haji mashigo. But the one, but the one that's, igo to pali hamyan, one that's, nats chorom nawayo. One that's, but the one that's, but the one that's really been sort of b e n b e e n Pin hajimargo, ben, ben, really ben sort of, sort of, igo do pali marate, sort of, margo, di baram yonam, sort of, kurigo vi baram sashinen opsus diso, sort of, stressing, kunyang of harte vi pego, sort of stressing, sort of stressing. But the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, tashi do bopshida. But the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out, but the one that's really been sort of stressing me out that I haven't been able to figure out is this phrase, Kala Boca Galvao. If you've gone onto Twitter in the last couple of weeks, you've probably seen this. It's been a major trending topic. Being a monolingual American, I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. Okay, and the answer is, I obviously don't know what the phrase means. I obviously don't know what the phrase means. I obviously don't know what the phrase means. But, Paksanim did not. I obviously, I obviously, I obviously, I obviously, I obviously, I obviously don't know, and Demone T. Pego, don't know. I obviously don't know what the phrase, don't know what the, don't know what the, Tayano Mashigo, don't know what the, I obviously don't know what the phrase means. I obviously don't know what the phrase means. I obviously don't know what the phrase means. Yonsubashigo, let's listen again. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. And I obviously don't know what the phrase means. So I went onto Twitter and I asked some people if they could explain to me Kala Boko Galvao. And fortunately, my Brazilian friends were more than ready to help. We're 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 more than ready to help. Oh, Yokshi, this was a tough one. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready 
to help. The Brazilian friends were more than ready to help. Were more than ready. Were more than ready. TH 바람 꼭 살리고. Were more than ready. Were more than ready. Ready to. Ready to help. Ready to help. Ready to help. Very difficult. To has seven different sounds. Da, ta, da, ta, da, ta, and to. And in this case, it was de. Ready to. Ready to. Ready to help. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready to help. You practice, and let's listen some more. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready to help. We're more than ready to help. They explained that the Galvao bird is a rare and endangered parrot that's in terrible, terrible danger. And in fact, I'll let them tell you a bit more about it. A word about Galvan, a very rare kind of bird native to Brazil. Every year, more than 300,000 Galvan birds are killed during carnival parades. Obviously, this is a, a tragic situation. It actually gets worse. It turns out that not only is the Galvan parrot very attractive, useful for headdresses, it evidently has certain hallucinogenic properties, which means that there's a terrible problem with Galvan abuse. Some sick and twisted people have found themselves snorting Galvan, and it's terribly endangered. The good news about this is that the global community, again, my Brazilian friends tell me, is pitching in to help out, 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 is pitching Pitching in to help out. All righty, and that answer was is pitching in to help out. Is pitching in to help out. Is pitching in to help out. That is a tough one, I know. Is pitching in. Pitch in is a two word verb. To pitch in basically means to volunteer. Pitch in to, momo hayogo, to help out. Pitching in to help out. Okay, what happens when you say it fast? Pitching in, pitching in, pitching in, pitching in to, in to help out. Now, 조금 줄이면 in to help out, in to help out. But what happens when you say it really fast, the N sound kills the D, and you get a in to help out, in to help out. Pitching in to help out, pitching in to help out, pitching in to help out. Practice and listen a couple more times. We've got one more dictation after this. Waiting. Is pitching in to help out. Is pitching in to help out. Is pitching in to help out. It turns out that Lady Gaga has released a new single. Actually, five or six new singles, near as I can tell, titled Cala Boca Galvao. And my Brazilian friends tell me that if I just tweet the phrase Cala Boca Galvao, 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. All righty, and it is time for the last dictation. Take a cue, Joe. 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird. Let's look at it one more time. 10 cents, 여기 받으신 분, 많은 사람들이, cents, C-E-N-T-S 말고, S-E-N-S-E 쓰신 분 많았었어요. 왜 그럴까요? Well, good job, actually, the pronunciation is the same. C-E-N-T-S and S-E-N-S-E. The sound is the same. Sense. Sense. There's a finance show, a money show on CNN called Dollars and Cents. Dollars and Cents. Dr. Chimaja, C E N T S, sort of saying, Hagechiman. It's actually S E N S E. Talking about common sense. Sangshik. So it's financial advice. Helping you with your sense, with your knowledge of money. Yogi Dumachi and 10 cents will be given to a global campaign to save Mohalyogo, to save this rare and beautiful bird. Global campaign, global charity, 10 
10 cents will be given Gibu, to a global charity to save this rare and beautiful bird. Well, that was the final dictation. <clears throat> you listen to this one more time as I go fix my voice. Make sure one, maybe. And uh, I'll see you around next time. Thanks a lot, and please let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you. Bye bye. Ten cents will be given to a global campaign to save this rare and beautiful bird.